Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day or week or month or whatever. Uh, whatever you're watching this. Currently in real time, it's September and I have to say it's my favorite time of year. Honestly say it's one of, if not my favorite times of year because something about it is just so cozy. September through December is just peak. We got the flannel season. We got the pumpkin chai. We got all those good smells, the good, good, you know, caramel, vanilla, warm spices. And then we got all the Halloween stuff happening. Um, football season, you know, it's just a good time. You know me, I'm a big jock girl. I love sports ball. <laughs> it's just supposed to be in a good mood. Um, if it's not your thing, that's totally okay. You can be wrong. We forgive you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I do like summertime because I like the beach, but that's pretty much the highlight of it for me. So I'm in a good mood. Hopefully you're in a good mood whenever you're watching this. Um, we're going to be starting off today with an objective, with a mission. I've been thinking about this a lot, and you guys have been roasting my Arthur from the neck up. He looks good. I've been giving him haircuts. Sometimes we bathe. We're not doing too bad. However, from the neck down, he's not looking great. He's looking like a little bit of a mess because I've been dressing him in the stock outfits, which is apparently a faux pas, a little bit of a transgression against fashion because apparently that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go and pair and tailor like the individual pieces in the collections so that you can look like a true suave, suave gentleman. So the objective for this morning for me is to drip Arthur out. We're gonna be using uh, hip terms. We're gonna give him some drip. We're gonna give him some riz. So that's what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the episode, but that's my, that's my primary objective right now, at least for a little bit during the episode. I kind of have a strat. I think I'm just gonna bebop around to the individual cities. So I'm kind of going to break my whole, like, don't really fast travel too much rule because I don't care. Like, I'm on a mission. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man with a plan, damn it. A man with a plan. So I honestly think that we're going to start in St. Denis that I was awkwardly calling St. Denis for, like, the first time I found it. <laughs> for a whole two hours, you guys had to sit there and be like, oh, God, every time I was like, St. Denis? Uh... Woo, dead eye abilities improved. What was I doing last? Oh, we were hanging out with our girl. Dude, that was so much fun. And then I updated my journal, it looks like. Went to Scarlet Meadows. Uh, site of the famous battle in the war. All them young lives lost. Yeah. Another body that seems linked somehow to the previous one. More paper in the mouth. Maybe directions to some place. I don't know. American ginseng. Saw an old church, found it interesting, not sure why, yep. There she is, our girl, Black Belle, what a woman. If she was younger and I was in the market for a woman to go killing with, what a pair we could have made. She told me old boy, Cal old boy Calloway was a poser and a liar. Big surprise. Poser. Dang. Black Belle was awesome, honestly. That's our mom right there. You guys okay with that? That's our mom. Dude, fucking gators. Okay. So, we have not explored any of this, but it doesn't matter because we're on a plan. We're on a, we're on a mission to go to St. Denis because I feel like that's going to have some decent apparel. So, that being said, I can just probably ride down there. It's not going to take like, it's not going to take long. Now, when we go to, like, potentially Valentine or something, that's gonna, that's gonna take a hot minute. Hello. Actually, forget it. Actually, forget it. What? More than mister? Howdy, mister. <laughs> what the fuck? What the f- Did you guys have these autosave problems? Did this guy just die? I think this guy just died. He fell off his horse. Fuck! I did 
the autosave! Heck! Hold on. Give me a second. Where is this last autosave? Give me two seconds. That's fine. I was getting tripped out. This guy fell off and died off his horse. My video graphics were like bugging a little bit. Give me a second. Hold on. I'm gonna kill these guys before they kill him. We're gonna snipe him from afar with my carbine repeater. One of them hoes. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did it... What is this? Oh, it's just red on them. Everything's got me thinking about the murders, man. I feel like, like... Every tree I walk past is gonna have some weird... Bludgeoned fellow. Aw, oh, man, we barely missed it. What a shame. I wanted to help that guy. Morning, mister. Hi there, mister. <sighs> yep. What a way to start. Hey, partner. Hello. Hey there. Oh my gosh, okay. Hi. Honor. 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 Yeah, beat this get wet. Greet, greet, greet. Howdy, partner. Hey, mister. Hey there, mister. Fine morning, partner. Saint Denis, the bayou. Hey there. You there, hello. Hi there, mister. <laughs> hey, partner. Good day. That's Jump to horse. horse. Thank you. God, this game is so pretty. What you all riled up for? I'll sleep Hello, man. If you don't want no trouble, hellish way to pass the time. All right, easy now. Jesus, I'm just trying to say hi to folks. Hey, mister. Move out of the way. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Hey, ma'am. Quit the way you're denominating, sir. Whoops. Hey, folks. Can I park my horse here? Bien, bonjour, monsieur. Look out. Bonjour, monsieur. <clears throat> Mister. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Okay. Please begin board. What? Is it closed? Am I in the wrong door? Oh, okay. A pleasure to see you again, sir. We've got 429 doll hairs for a frame of reference to you all. Let's see. Now, let me see. Individual clothing items. Do I have to click on... Oh, okay, so I do. I have to... Hmm. Hmm. This one's kind of dapper. It's like a... Fuck! I did not mean to buy that. Alright, guess that's where we're at. So, what we got now... I like it. I also like this stalker hat and the military hat. They're a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more cowboy-esque. I like this one. That is one of my favorites. Yeah, I like it too. Oh wait, I can just scroll through, right? Straight into the other sections. Okay. Let's take a gander. Duster coat. Hmm. No. 
scout jacket. I kind of like the longer ones. Interesting. Frock coat. All right. I stand behind everything I sell in this place so you can purchase with confidence. Make this country a Single breasted shotgun colt, fully satin lined, ventilated armpits, a very nobly coat. Okay, how about you try it on and then decide? Dude, I can't hear because women are preaching for their rights out there. I get it. I'm with you, woman. I also enjoy having rights, but let me shop. God damn it. Can't hear a thing. I can't hear myself think. How do I get women rights in this game so I can shop in peace? Scout jacket. This is interesting. I'm not a big fan of like this fur thing we've got going on. I'm a fan of rights as much as the next chick. Anyways. Um, so, ooh. What do you think? Wearing it out? I don't know if I'm feeling any of the coats here. Let's see, French dress, union suit, standard collar. Hmm, vests, wow. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Purple. Now y'all know that's my favorite color. And if you don't, you do now. Hmm. Parisian vest, opulent vest. Wow. Wow. What color speaks to you? Very interesting. So you could do like a plain undershirt with a kind of a kooky crazy vest. A properly worn vest always commands respect. That's kind of fun. My cat wants to drink my coffee. Um, hmm, I like that. With like a casual shirt. It needs to be like a plain color shirt to not clash. Not a fan of that neck. I wish I could see the vest again. Collar. We look so dapper, ooh wee. Ooh, the black. I'm gonna buy that one. Good because you're looking great. Hell yeah, brother. This looks like pajamas a little bit. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I own this one, but I'm gonna buy it. Once you try that one on, you'll know for sure. Pants. Some jeans. Oh shit. Okay. Purple. Work pants. Hmm. Oh, I'm in the vest now. Nice. This is so much fun. Saddle work pants. No, I don't like that inner thing. This jeans. I don't understand the fashion with the highlighted crotch. Don't really get the appeal. Nice. Ooh, we can just Halloweeny. Perfect for you. Do nice orange look. The fall look. Town fancy pants. Get my fancy pants on. Go put your fancy pants on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to say that looks just fantastic on you. Don't let your hair down. Sleek to riding boots. Oh my. Oh my. Quick draw. Those are fun looking. The gators? Ooh, okay. These are these are some nice shoes. Well, all right, Ooh, the black one. I'm gonna get them in two colors. Treat yourself, King. Button low shoes. I see why you guys were making fun of me. I did not have any fashion. Ooh. Me gusta. Now, what is your preferred color for this? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's more? Gloves? Wow. Deluxe Relentless. Oh my gosh, the flowers. Old West. 
deluxe quick draw. Oh my gosh. Wait, do, which one did I just buy? Quick draw. There's the deluxe quick draw. Grinder. Oh my, that's a lot. These are like, whoo, bedazzled. I'm okay. Nice leather boots. Preacher's boots. Nice. Old West. Oh yeah, those are classic. Dude, this is awesome. Plated quick draw. Oh, no one's coming after my knee sides. What the I fuck do you call that? The best in my shop. Buy from me and you'll never be disappointed. Relentless like me. I'll get the deluxe quick draw. Treat ourselves, kings. Mmm, what color? Both? Okay, we'll go with this. Will look fantastic in these. Hell yeah. Alright, riding gloves. Ooh. Your shirt does not... Can I just... Buy it? Suspenders. Oh, yeah, baby. Fine leather. Oh, my! Mm -hmm. Hot damn! Got some fine leather. The cotton ones. Oh. Like a little... little worn. The cross back. Okay. I like the leather ones that we just got. Chaps. Girl, put your records on. Ooh, spurs. Vaquero. Oh my. Ha <laughs> those are intense. I'm gonna buy some of those. Because you're looking great. Hell yeah, I'm feeling good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot. Nice. You really feel the quality of that one, right? She keeps coming at me from a different angle, trying to get my uh, coffee. Huh? What shirt do I need to be wearing? I already own a collar over shirt, right? You do not own this item. Oh. Well, I have some fabric options for that. Stand collar. Mm. Okay. Can I get dressed now? Do I just need to walk up to the, uh... That should be good. Ooh, it is super green. Okay, I was worried that this hat... Because it was um, green in the catalog. Now what's going on? But here? it didn't look green when I was trying it on. But now it looks hella green. Mm. Yeah, we got the green boy. People around here come in just for those. Wow. This guy really knows how to sell. I mean, with me, you don't even really have to try, but... Oh, we can look like a nice girl on the beach with one of these floppy things. Okay. All right. Let's, uh... Something to go with what you just bought? I mean, okay. Pull my leg. Uh, let me see. I need a black hat. Like a nice... Black hat that... Just kind of goes with everything. Hmm. They're not like black hats. Sorry, my cat's terrorizing me. Um, Western hat, cavalier hat. Town hat. I bought one. Okay, I bought one of these. Hmm. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. This one's pretty decent. All right. How do I change my outfit? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Obviously, I like this one because I got it in three colors. Okay, we're at 244. What's the damage on that? We were at like 498. A couple hundred uh, shopping spree. All right. 
How do I travel back to camp? <laughs> Whee! I heard they're arresting more of these street boys for loitering. Good morning. Oh, you got good and bloody, didn't you? Hey, mister. Oh, can we take a bath? Actually, real quick. Barber. There's got to be a hotel, motel, somewhere. Right? Fence. Saloon. Ooh, the fence. Hmm. Let's go there real quick. I can't resist. We need to take care of our horse, too. All the way down there. Okay. Beep beep. Hey, mister. Hello, sir. I've had better days, that's for sure. Hey, partner. Hey there. Dude, what the heck? My graphics are being so buggy right now. Hey, mister. I'm doing everything I can. Mister. What's happening here? You just don't like Chinese people. You won't see any more of my money. It's only temporary. This will all be sorted out soon, I promise. Hey, the whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. Rats. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. Let me go in there and just shoot some rats. That's quite random. All right, princess, don't get run over now. Now, how are you going to tell me to fix your saloon? And I can't even go in. Watch where you're going. Sorry. How the hell? No. Where have you been all my life? You wanna have a good time? Well, maybe. Don't be so rough. Sorry! I'm so sorry, gentlemen. How do I get into the... Is this the door? Oh my gosh, that was the door the whole time. Uh... Us. This is brutal. This place is a dump. I hear him. Done. What a random side quest. So many Ooh, dead animal prints thanks, on the minimap. Take this. Who earned every cent? I killed worse. That's true. All right. Excuse 
Excuse me, partner. Why are the graphics bugging? It's so weird. All right, let's find this fence. I'm pretty excited. New fence. Awesome. Whoops. He's still yelling about rats. Is this the fence? Dude, this is insane. This is like a antique shop. You guys told me to use Deadeye more often. And now I see... I was not aware. I forgot it's like your Witcher sense. Oh my gosh, we have so much to sell. Gold nuggets. Jewelry bag. Earrings. Oh my gosh, we just made all our money back. Let's friggin' go. Does he offer different wares to buy? Dynamite? No, not really. Baked beans. Oh, hell yeah. The most... The most naughty of things. Some baked beans? Say less. Mm. I need to take Arthur to get some real food, a bath. Maybe the camp is gonna have some stew up for us. I do want to teleport back to uh. Behind you, ma'am. Hello there. How's things? I'm in the dumps. No mistake. What on earth? Damn way. Dude. Are we having hallucinations? What in the world? I'm probably gonna try to make it back to camp and then, uh... Restart my computer. Try to fix this, because this is crazy. What the fuck? Jesus, sorry about that, y'all. Oh, the boats! Oh my gosh. Come on now. Just make it outside of town. We'll be all right. <laughs> Little fisherman area. Very neat. I've grown fond of Horseshoe Overlook. We've upgraded it well. It's probably about time to look at some more upgrades, because we never did the coop and the uh, horses and stuff like that. Might try to invest some more into there. There we go.
Jesus. So cozy. Dutch is a little unstable. Here. We make money and then we head back out west to freedom. But he's charismatic. I ain't wavering, son. Definitely a stereotypical uh, leader of the pack Arthur, type. My boy. Hey. We're not doing great, but we're doing, you know, and he's here for us and sorry, I I'll use shorter words. Anyone ever tell you just how dumb you are? Micah. Why don't you go and make us some money? Get us some food if you're so full of energy. You get that? Whatever you say, boss. Do something useful. Both of you. Oh my god. I've got 536 and 47 in the camp bank. I want to do the chicken coop. Why is it not letting me pan over? Hi. I think I have to use my arrow keys or something. I do. Okay. I'm gonna buy a chicken coop. Increase the quality of the stew. Yay! Look at that. Yay! And then. Three hundred dollars. I have four oh eight in the bank. We'll make more money from doing it. I'm purchasing it. I only am gonna have a hundred and eight dollars left, but access stabled horses quickly. Hmm. Hundred and eight. I'm just a wretch. And worse than that, a self pitying one. Me too, brother. Stop trying to steal my coffee. Jinky. Stop it. She's also a pumpkin spice girl. Howdy, fellas. Hey, hello there. Only you can get yourself out of this, Reverend. Mm-hmm. You think I don't know that? I hope you do. Hmm. I used to be a real man. So I'm gonna change my outfit real quick and then go to bed and camp and then, uh, yeah. So we've got this mission coming up. We got our new outfit, so we're pretty good on that. Billy Midnight. 
was that the guy who authored the biography? Then John Marston. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be a good episode. I can feel it. Oh man, we're looking scruffy. I'm just trying to grow that handlebar mustache. We need to get some more pomade so we can curl that boy. Ooh wee! Arthur's gambler's hat. We got all these colors. Oh my gosh, I'm so crazy. Crafted hats. Oh, yeah, we stole this hat. How you do? I don't really need a coat, I feel like. The Parisian vest looking fancy. Yeah, I want to wear this one. And then for the shirts, got a couple colors. The purple one, I love it. Ooh, this one looks nice. The black stand one. Ooh, with a vest. What's happening behind us? We're looking spiffy right now. How do we feel about this vest? Times like these, I wish I could talk to you guys. I don't know. I definitely think we look dapper. But it's a little bit too fancy almost. Is that an ascot? <laughs> Can I change my shoes? How do I change my shoes? We look good though. Oh. But he was beaten just the same. Now, it wasn't uh, the, the master of the house who my father loved, in a way. But his brother, who my father hated with an almighty passion. Hey, Grimshaw. How about you keep me company? Really, Mr. Bell? You flatter me. My father was getting a whooping for the time of being born. Tell me some story. When his sister-in-law, the, the master's wife, walks in. Now, fearing for my father's life, she told her brother-in-law to stop. Well, not only did he not stop, he beat her too. That's right! Day, his brother, the master, shot him dead. Oh my gosh. The whole plantation cheated. The master gave my father his dead brother's watch and told him as he did so. Time. We'll catch up with us all. Oh my gosh. A year later, he sets him free and hangs himself the very next night. Holy shit. My father gave me that watch. Beautiful, big pocket watch it was. And now, I've gone and lost the ring in Blackwater. I get some spare money. I'm gonna buy myself another one. Is this a side quest? My father. And them folks that saved his life. 
Can I get him one? Item request. Oh my gosh. I was like, I want to get him a watch. A pocket watch. I just sold a bunch of them, I think, but... Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, we're wearing all black. So, I don't, I don't know if we necessarily have drip, per se. But I'm always wearing pretty much all black, so it's kind of fitting. <laughs> and we can get a pocket watch. That's... God, that was such a story. Holy heck. Okay, yeah. Perfect. So we have a mission. We have a plan. We have all of our objectives in line. We've got to do the Billy and the other guy. And um, I'm going to restart my game. So we don't have any more graphics glitches because that was super weird. So I'll be back. And we're back. Hopefully it's not cursed anymore. That was the weirdest graphics glitch I've had in a long time. But look at this little chicken coop. All the little chickens. Look at all them chickens. And then we got the horsies out here, dude. This rain. Gosh, this game is so nice. We got our fit. Looking good. Morning, mister. Karen. Howdy, howdy. All right. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Look at how many horses we've got. Let's do our morning chores real quick since we're already uh, at the camp. My gosh, so many. So many horsies. Ours is the prettiest of all, though. I'm still waiting to find a unicorn in-game. I'm sure it's near the end of a rainbow somewhere. Always the same people doing all the work, isn't it? Sure is. Boop. Very nice. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Milady. Chop some wood. I'm excited for today in game. We have so many options, so many possibilities. Hmm, I don't know if I want to jump right back into one of the quests. I think... I think I'm going to check my logs first. Ha <laughs> ha Logs? Eh, get a load of that one, huh? Uh, but actually, though, I think I want to check my log. There she is. Morning, Arthur. Because we have a lot of miscellaneous things we need to bring to people in the camp. Oh wait, that's that. Clothes. Dinosaur bones. Zero of thirty. Okay. Treasure Hunter. This is the one with the geysers. Cigarette card. Zero of 12 sets found. Rock carving. Zero of 10 found. A pipe. We haven't found that yet. A pocket watch. Haven't found that yet. Crime novels. Haven't found that yet. A Penny Dreadful book. Isn't that from... Uh, did he say he left his book in Blackwater or something? One of 20 dream catchers. Jim Boy Calloway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can turn this in. That's really all we've got. We don't... 
I mean, and all of those things seem kind of organic. It's not like I can be like, oh, I know exactly where to go to find the pipe. Saw, met, and got the full message. What did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. Mm. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Hmm. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> oh, you simple minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? I saw some. Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Let's do it. Mount up then. Let's go. What did the father say to his little boy when he's going off to school? Right? Bye, son. Oh man. All right. It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. When the bison went, my people went. I like his horse. We couldn't survive without him. He provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> Well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. Wherever the whiskey goes, I go. Oh, there they are. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll okay. Them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as I can. Clean as you can. Okay. Five hundred sixty animals. Uh, cat. Where's the bison? Eleven? Twelve. Did I not discover one before? I need to know what to can kill these things. Oh, heck. Oh, shit. He's going. Come on. Jesus. Heckin' frick. What the fuck are you doing? Go straight. My god. Fuck, man. Aww. All right. Skin and butcher. Take the horns too. It can all be used. I hate this. <sighs> Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Oh. What? No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. Let's do it. All right. Lead the way. Let's get him. Is that guy? We'll kill that guy. I won't hesitate. Come on. Where are these tracks at? Sounds made up. Could have been an animal? No, they've been shot. 
just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. That's terrible. Not even using what they have, just shooting and scooting. Look, another dead bison on the hill to the right. Come on. What the heck, man? Who are these chumps? But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Hmm. I've been to this little military training area. Seems recent. You find anything, Arthur? Nothing worth mentioning. Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. Mm. What do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. Crashed alive! What a damn waste. Mm. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Is it the training camp? Are they like practicing their okay. you see anything? guns? Or is that a village? That doesn't look like Wait, Arthur, is it? Look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Hmm. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Hmm. Jesus, that's a lot of bison. There's like six now? Who the fuck are these guys? Shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Dude, what? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we do? Oh, it's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy. I got a family. A family. Yeah, they're probably assholes just like you. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could. What? To make it look like it was Indians. <laughs> Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. Kill him. Do I kill him? He's an asshole. If I let him go, he's just gonna keep being an asshole. What's letting him go gonna do? Like, he has a family? I mean... It's kind of important. His family's probably a bunch of assholes, too. I wish this was, like, the same decision where the kid- the guy was hanging off the ledge where it, like, accidentally just chokes him and he dies anyway, so I don't have to make the choice. Man, I've heard enough. Whatever. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Hmm. Poor survivor. Some bread. 
Wow, I should totally use that ability way more often. Can't believe I haven't been using that this whole time. The dead eye, the loot. Feel like a goofy goober. Poison knife throwing pamphlet? Huh, in close combat altercations with wildlife, the hunter can often become a hunted animal if not dispatched quickly. Throwing knife at an animal works, however, it may result in the loss of a very good knife if the animal flees with it buried in their hide. Stress of will drop an animal in a matter of seconds. Throwing knife only under sage. Hmm. Outdoorsman's tip. If no water can be found for days, do not substitute drinking liquor, salt water, urine, or blood as they can bring on delirium. Wow. I think we're all done here. Alright. That was productive. What's up here? What's this little town yeah. thing? Am I gonna see some stones that way? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. What is this? What is all this, then? Some mines. Oh, a tunnel for the train. Yep. This is pretty cool. Oh, I can't be here. Oh, oops. All right. Have I not discovered anything? Oh, oil fields. I see. Okay. We've kind of been all around the block up here. Let's go out... East. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go all the way out there and see what we got. And then I'm gonna turn in that Billy quest. I don't really want to progress with the story. I'm really honestly procrastinating because I know that things are going to start picking up. I can just feel it, so I'm just taking my dear sweet time in this chapter. I know we're still in chapter two, but once I get set on the story, I mean, the story is probably like... The point of this game is like the rest of the game, you know what I mean? I could easily sit down and just like steamroll through the main stuff, but... I feel like there's just so much more. Hello. You ain't supposed to be here. Oh, I like your horse though. That's a unicorn if I've ever seen one. Get out of here. I want that one. It looks like a unicorn. Can I steal it? <laughs> She's pretty. Okay. Fine. I'll leave you to your soup in a can. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, I thought I saw a stone wall up here. Ooh, it's a little foggy now. Whoa. Or was it just... You okay, girl? How do I pat? It's all right, girl. Yep. There, girl. Okay. There the bison. Yeah. That's my girl. Aww. We're all good now. Easy there, girl. Alright, let's go this way.
I was about to say, this looks a lot like Emerald Ranch. Alright, now we're here. We're just gonna keep going. Because we've explored this entire area. We're missing a little bit of the bayou with St. Denis. But then I have no idea what's up in the far north or the east. And I don't even know if it continues or not. Your girl doesn't have a single clue. So, we on go. We on go, everybody. Start your horses. Yeah. All right, girl. Good girl. Huh. Nice little post office down here. Emerald Station. Or, uh, yeah. Post office, train station, bounty paying station. <laughs> That's all I care about, really. Let's be real. No clue where we're going. Wow. Hey there. Hello. Look at that lake. Holy guacamole. It's so pretty. And flowers. What the heck? There's a smokestack down there. Hmm. My inner explorer is saying go that way, so we're gonna go that way first. Also need to remember to keep an eye out for uh, any dream catchers and shit like that. Oh? You move and I'll shoot you. Lousy bastards. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's the first time we just... Well, actually, we did get robbed in St. Denis, but I, I tracked him down. I'll just, you know, craft and cook some food real quick while we're already out in the woods. Yeah, I need to remember to keep my eyes peeled for, like, the murders and, um... The dream catchers and the bones. I wonder if I've, like, accidentally run past any... Just because I wasn't paying attention. I hope not. I'd be sad. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. That's good for now. Add a little bit of food. Now we can uh, drink a little bit of whiskey if we have any. Bitters? Oh my god. Little bit of Kentucky bourbon, dude. Yeah, we've ran, we've ridden through a lot of wilderness. I am shocked. I have not found more. Maybe I haven't been off-roading as much as I feel like. Whoa! That just scared the shit out of me. What did I just do? I was talking. 
Did I just run something over? Did I just kill this thing? Oh, there's a turkey! Oh, shit! My bad. Dude, I was... <laughs> Speaking of zoning out and missing things... <laughs> Sorry, party foul. Plump bird meat. That's what they call me. Okay, then, girl. Damn, not our first casualty on the horse. Peaceful little cabin. Hmm, no dream catchers. No murders. Nothing? Really? My bad, dog. We're back at Emerald Ranch. Okay, I'm going the complete opposite direction. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and I've never come around. Turn around. Yep. Every now and then I get a little bit tired. Listen to the sound of my tears. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little We just killed another rabbit. Damn. I'm trying to keep my wits about me. But it's hard because I don't have any wits. <laughs> Cave that we can yeah. loot. <laughs> Any dead bodies that need to be disposed of? This would be just the spot. Oh, a military camp. Another one of these. Hmm. Why is there a little gun icon? What does that mean? Weapon. Weapon? Weapon. Turn around. Hmm. Why is that smoking off of it? I hear something. Is this like a... A trap? <laughs> Fucking what the fuck?! Mm. I know raccoons can attack you! Hey, yo! Unknown animal. Huh? Is it that? Yo, homie, that's a fucking raccoon. What do you mean? A 
A North American raccoon. It's the thing that bit your ankles. You don't know what that is? Come on, Arthur. Jesus. I was like, we have a wildebeest out here? Have me fooled for a second. Alright, put that away, you crazy fool. Turn around. Cigarette card, nice. And there's a basement, I see you. What's this? Down. Oh. Civil War knife. Cool. Gold nugget. A letter? Civil War report. Confederate soldiers under General Quincy Harris attacked Fort Brennan at night. Climbed trees to fire down into the fort, then battered and broke through the north gate. All survivors being executed and bodies burned. I am next. First Lieutenant Ronald Alger. Dang. That's some history right there. Hot dog. It must have really bothered you guys that I never used, uh, Deadeye. Ha ha ha. This is just like hacks. It makes it so much easier. It highlights everything. It's like literally like a witcher sense. No wonder I got so many comments saying use Deadeye. I just don't like listening to people that tell me what to do. <laughs> But eventually my stubbornness fades and I do take hints and stuff. I just don't like doing it. Especially when I first start a game. I like learning things the hard way. It's part of the fun for me. Call me a masochist. It just is what it is, you know? Mm, should I go explore these other areas up here? Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Last time I almost left the place unexplored, I missed a almost missed a gold bar. So that's a heckin' thing. Oh, is there anything down here? Ow. Okay, Arthur. Nothing. These are some weird noises. I'm gonna leave. I feel like this was productive. I'll be on my way now. Am I singing? Yeah. I think I just heard Arthur singing. Oh my god. people out here Here drink it up Oh thank you Reckon I was done for there 
Ansberg Butcher Creek Fan Horn. Ansberg Butcher Creek. What? Kind of bit of that plan over there and Oh my guts like a freight train. Ah, oh, it's that little one over there with the pink flowers. Oh, this one. Well clear of that. If I was you. Oh, is this the one that is the poison one? Yeah, I think you've sold me on that. Plan. Yeah, Oleander, this is the one that's used for the poison knives. Very nice. All right, guy. We'll, we'll be seeing you. <laughs> I want to go to Ansberg, but I also am curious. Oh, what's up to the east? East. Let's go to Ansberg. We. Anyone home? Nothing. Okay. Oh, this is a just a little town. Oops, I just totally walked into some stranger's house. Butcher Creek. Okay there. Howdy. Oh. Hey, mister. We don't take kindly to outsiders around here. Oh, fuck! I didn't know this whole town was hostile. Whoopsie daisy, I was just greeting people. Shit. Is that a waterfall? Sh Jesus! <sighs> Alright, lesson learned. Don't go to Butcher Creek. That was fast. I hear a waterfall. Cave? We're going. You guys already know. Yeah. Oh, is it going to be at the top? It's going to be at the top, isn't it? Probably. Up there. If there is one, even. <gasps> Where's my lantern? I don't need my binoculars. I don't need lotion. God damn it. What are we doing? Princess. Oh, and there's fish here. I see plentiful fish. Am I dying? What am I bleeding from? Please don't tell me there's something in the water. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, we're going in. Cave time, boys. Oof. Also, aren't I looking for like drawings on caves or something, like cave murals? That means I need to go back to that one that I was in. Uh, earlier in the game. There might be cave drawings on it that I missed. Eee, yes, sprint through the cave, Arthur. Ooh. Nothing. Any drawings? 
mangy brown rat. Ooh. What is that red stuff? Oh! <gasps> drawings? These are drawings. Wait. How do I inspect them? Wait. 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 Hunting. Rock carvings. Rock face. Is this different? Hmm. Dude, wait. Rock carvings, Red Dead 2. Okay, this doesn't look like a rock carving. Cave paintings, Red Dead 2? Yeah, I found one. Ansberg. Right? Right. Near the Elysian pool. That one looks like... It actually looks like it's supposed to be like... Here-ish, maybe? Have I already been here? Yes, I have! This is where I found the- this is the same cave I found earlier in the game. This is the one. Because I had a legendary fish here and a dreamcatcher, I just didn't know what the hell was going on. Oh my gosh. Okay. So maybe it's outside the cave, like the actual proper- ow. Carving. Dude, it has been so long since I've been back here in the game. Ha ha ha! That's actually crazy, I forgot. Because I was like, wow, this formation looks like... It, mentally, I was thinking, this formation looks eerily similar to when... I went to the original one. But I didn't say anything out loud, because I was like... Maybe they're all kind of similar? I don't want to judge the game devs. I don't know. Holy shit, it's actually the same cave. I am so special sometimes. Um, cool, so... That being said, I think the cave carving is right over here. Oh my god, how did I miss Butcher Creek? Oh fuck. Not the Murphrys. Is it just... Yeah, we camped up here. How was I not... ...schwacked... ...in Butcher Creek? Oh, it's dark, dark. Where'd the Murphrys go? What? Did they just like despawn out of this canoe?
Hmm. It's like over here. Normally I don't look up stuff as you guys know, but I already know that it's somewhere over here, so we're just gonna use a little help. Cause I can. So there's that. Is it somewhere over here? I will say this is mighty hard to do at night. <laughs> hmm. Heck, man. Yes, right into the water. Cave carving. That's fire. Mind if I warm my bones? What? <laughs> Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> Dude, oh. what? Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> and we gonna protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on, let's go. I think you got the message. Ha <laughs> ha! will kill you next time. <laughs> I should antagonize them. Okay. Got it. I'll sleep. I'm not afraid of no- Mom ain't raised no bitch! New journal entry. Dude, I have no idea where these carvings are. I feel like I'm so close, but I literally... Rocks. Are these carved rocks right there? Is that a carved rock? Is that a carved rock? Are you a carved rock? Nice! Oh my gosh, that's so intricate. Dude, I'm never gonna find these organically. <laughs> Holy. I have to mail it at the post office? Oh my gosh, if that's the rock... How am I gonna find... Dream catchers. Oh my gosh. All right then. We're just gonna have to do a lot of off roading, huh? Like up here.
All right. Maybe scaling the side of a completely vertical mountain was not the best move. Oh, fuck. Owie. I was trying to vault over it. Come here, princess! Come here! I know, I really put you somewhere weird, huh? Sorry about that, girl. Whoops. <laughs> the chaos. Alright. Ansburg, St. Denis, Butcher's Creek. Hey, they're on the map. They are on the map. They are well established gentlemen. Okay. I'm just a blind old fool. This guy. Don't be like me. Be a wise man. Be a fool for love. I feel like we've seen this guy before. Help a blind man. Okay, sure. <laughs> Very nice. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply. For the man with no nose is coming for you. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Huh? Is this guy a soothsayer? The man with no nose slender man is in these woods? Y'all didn't tell me slender man was in these woods. Oh heck. Oh wow, are we in Ansburg now? Guard. Howdy. You dumb bastard. Okay. Good morning, sir. Howdy, you dumb bastard. This is this another place I'm not supposed to be? Hey there. Morning, mister. Dude, we're so honorable. It's like we've never done a dishonorable thing in our lives. Hi there, mister. What's the problem here? Excuse me. That doesn't look very horse friendly to me. Hey there. Morning, sir. God damn it. The casualties. Good girl. All good. Oh, the fucking pelt. Dang it. I'm gonna get back and uh, our buddy's gonna be like. What the hell happened to the pelt, man? We just went hunting like three days ago. I haven't seen you. You got lost. It's been 72 hours. You really took the long way home, huh? My bad. I see little gun icons, so something tells me there's some more shops down here. Yeah. Over here for a minute, Brand. 
Oh, you're the one with the health problems. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing kind of if not dangerous. Wow! All the best. Again? He did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. It really got me. Uh, you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just saying that if there were a bear that got trapped in it, it would have been trapped real good. Ah. Yeah, but you trapped your own damn self instead, didn't you? You know, I sure hope it don't happen to you someday. Uh-huh. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I got a mosey. You take care of that leg. I will. I will. You do. Yep. Goodbye. Nothing to say, Jenkins. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's the second free uh, weapon we've gotten for being a nice person. Did you look at that? Listen to me, sir. Scientist. Gather round. Gather round. I make no bones for my testament. For my testament is science, and science is God, sir. So help me, God. So strike me down. We are killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast and hard and nasty. Off you, Mesa. The world is in balance and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, but look around you. Look around and learn and weep. Hey there. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Sure. You guys want some sort of story time? Thank you. Hopes for the future. Scoff not. Laugh not. Deride not. I speak the truth. I'm killing this land. Killing it with greed. Killing it with science. I am a scientist. The land will boil. The sea will dry up. The world will heat. Crops shall wither. The hills shall burn. The rivers shall turn to fire. Macintosh. Some eternal damnation from above. This is the very manifestation of our greed. Watch yourself. Not on science, not on truth, but on... Not on tooth. Alright. I'm trying to get away from him so I can read this in peace. Alright. We're having a nice... Oh, eat. Peaceful afternoon. Can I sit on this log? No. Okay. Just gonna have a nice little squat. A stand. And we're gonna read this book. Damnations and exclamations on science, the skies, waters, and the great swindle. A book by Dr. Malcolm McIntosh, published in Boston, 1891. The dangers of illuminating oils. What is the price of the light created by burning illuminating oils that fills our homes, lights our carriages, and transports us in metal machines? The new invention of the patent motor wagon, or is, why did I say it like that? Wagon? Wagon will result in the death of the creatures of the sea. One day there will be no fish to be found by a fisherman as he has traveled farther and farther in a machine of death. Learn and weep as the rivers and oceans go black and nowhere is to be found a drop to quench our thirsts. The hills scorched shall burn, the rivers fouled will burn, the sun in the skies will burn our skies and skin. Experiments and future of electricity. The fire that runs through wires of elements such as copper shall soon con come to consume every part of our being. Soon electricity will be required for every part of our lives. It will create visions in front of your eyes. It will be used instead of sexual intercourse. That's really specific. 
Man will no longer be able to cipher numbers because of the reliance on it. Electricity not from the skies that sets our trees afire, but the kind made by man. A wonder of the age. Yet it is fire and it will eventually cause us to, to, cause us to burn every living thing to make more of it. A swindle. This is a full and accurate report that every person reading this will be swindled out of considerable wealth. Machines are wonderful, but in the operation of the wrong people, they are the pathway to destruction. Some day, these machines will lull us to comfort, such that we lose all common sense, compassion, and human contact, instead preferring the sound of the machines. Whispering gibberish to clouds will not save you. Science will save you if you let it. Otherwise, your skies will be forever gray, the oceans will rise, and the women who live in the sea will die. You are a slave. This is the grand question, plainly stated so that you can understand. Do you want to be a slave to ignorance? Do not fall for damnable doctrines and the cruel massacres of the elite. Only in this country can a person be proud of not being good at math or science. You can bring out about the destruction of our very race by noting nature around you. The dinosaurs were killed by men out of fear and that very ignorance will kill us all. American ingenuity damns us all. American industry will do what it always does, make a few men very rich and a lot of men very sick. These, those are the only outcomes. So if you're not rich, trust me, you will be sick soon enough. My teachings will ground you. Go and spread the word by ordering copies of my books so that you may go on an incredible journey to the heart of all knowledge. Do not listen to the lies of institutions. They profit on the damnation of us all. Yours, Dr. Malcolm McIntosh. Jesus. Well, that was a fun read. Huh. Oil. Killing fish. Fire. Us loving our computers. A little bit too much. Oh, I was gonna get my free gun. Hmm. Hello. I just like barge and he's like, hey, buddy, what do you need? Dude, I don't know what I want. I already have a good repeater. I got a good varmint rifle. Maybe my level's higher so I can afford better things now. Yeah, 90, 135. Might get me a rolling block rifle or bolt action rifle. Arcano. Why is it locked? I have a 225 one. Ooh. Why can I not... Am I too low level? Hmm. I can just hold this credit for a while, right? Not really in a rush. Bath? So noted. You have a good day now. What? Okay. <laughs> Kinda random. Yoo-hoo! I need a beef Arthur up. We need to start eating some more meat. Could I offer some assistance? Yeah, we deserve it. Oh, good. Perfect. You can leave it to me. Ah, oh, mommy, ma 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 mommy. Clean as a whistle. No small talk. Jesus. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. 
<sighs> Life can always be worse. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, they don't like strangers much in this town. The more you get to know this place. I have a Geralt bathing figure. All I need is a uh, Arthur ba bathing figure. Oh, I'm glad of this. It's been a hard few days. Oh no, really? Lady, you don't even know. You don't even know the days I've had. I get robbed every five minutes. I get mauled by creatures. I fall off my horse every ten minutes. Yeah, it's been a tough few days. You don't even okay. know. I don't think I'm gonna get much cleaner than this. Thank you. I sure hope I see you again. That was nice. Heck yeah, brother. Nice and clean. I'll just keep in mind that we've got that- Ooh, it's raining! Oh, is there a bar here? Hmm... Too small of a town? Not even a... Van Horn, the mine. What's that red dot up there? Oh, bear. Is this the border? No, that's just a railroad. What's up there? And I haven't been up here. And I haven't been down there. We'll start with the small dubs. We'll go this way. Excuse me, Mr. Bear. Did you know a bear without ears is just a bee? <laughs> yeah. Beers. Bears. B-E-A-R-S. <laughs> yeah, what the heck do we have up here? This does seem to be just like the perimeter of the game. Seems to be. I mean, I don't know. What do I know? We. That's a third wipeout. <laughs> this episode. <laughs> Poor girl. Go this way. this way. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. She can eat oleander? Did I just feed her poison plants? Girl. 
stow that real quick. Yeah, are we at a border or not? Yeah, this looks like the border of the game. Okay. We're gonna go... down there. I really just want to see some more sights in this game before we press on with the rest of the story. That's a cool thing. Is that like a lighthouse type thing? Stab it. Just trying to drink my tea. Excuse me. Lucrative robbery targets game. Stop encouraging me. Trains can be lucrative robbing. Uh, see, I'm not even trying to be a problem. I'm not even trying to be problematic and the game's like, hey, by the way, Aurelia, didn't you know? You can rob a train if you want to. You can rob a train if you want to. You can leave your world behind. Cause the train don't stop, the train don't stop till the train I rob is mine. Where's this lighthouse at? Again? Is this the same one? Because I don't think I ever actually freed his leg. I think this is actually me freeing his leg now. It was his friend that I helped with the cu the cure. I gotta get some scrap or something here. Oh, oh, Mister, you. I thought. I was gonna be oh go! Oh, I thought I was gonna be a goner. I was confused about that whole bit. You, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh, whew. here, this will help with the pain at least. Ah, oh, poor guy, oh, dude. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yes, yes. Oh, oh. We'll have a field day over this back in town. You need help? All right. Glad, glad you're good. <laughs> what a funny game glitch. I didn't actually help him, and then I see him in town, and he's like, hey! And I'm like, what? Jesus. Some of the people in this game, man. Some people's kids, am I right? Who raised these people? I was in the stables. Very nice. How cozy. And there's the lighthouse looking structure. What do we got here? Van Horn, huh? Oh, this is where the hotel is and probably the saloon? What's going on here?
reward. Okay there. Hey. Saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. I feel like I just walked into something a little bit. Sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they. Oh no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little no, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. No. Oh, fuck it. No. Oh, fuck it. Bertram, woof, woof. Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something. You'll eat him. Um, uh, eat? E e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sorry. Oh, Bertram. fuck. Easy, big guy. How do I fucking dodge, dude? How the hell do you dodge? Keyboard. Space bar, mouse, keys. I was doing that. R to There, learned it. Listen to your Listen to your mother. You be your boss, stupid. R is dodge. No fair. F is punch. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's going to hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry. We'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bert. <laughs> Give me a beer, would you? Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. <laughs> That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I going to have to hunt him down? I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram, lack sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank <laughs> you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? Okay. Try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come wow. What an encounter. What the frick, man? A <laughs> beer? Hey there. Uh... Can I have this beer or nah?
There's my hat. Wow. Well. Huh. Guess we got a mission. Sorry. Excuse me. This is a palm reader? Hold on. My bad. No? Is it in the back? Hey, Excuse mom. me. Look out. Oh, it's five finger fillet. I forgot the symbol for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, if there's like some oh, magic like fortune teller stuff going on, that would be so dope. Hmm. Magnifico, huh? Close enough. Oh, we're on a path now. What a crazy episode, man. I feel like I've done nothing but also everything at the same time. We've discovered so much of the map. We found a rock carving. Barely. This guy just die? Dude. What the fuck? Gold teeth? Bro, this guy just collapsed in front of me. Y'all see that? I didn't even shoot him or nothing. Lemoyne. Van Horn. There's red over there. Penitentiary. I'm just looking at the bottom left. Kansas River. My god. Geysers. Looking out for geysers. And creepy murdered heads. And dream catchers. And dinosaur bones. Keep these things at the forefront of my mind. Where's this fool at? Howdy, partner. Hi there, buddy. Amazing. If you say so. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Like Nifico by any chance? I'm not going back. <laughs> She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. Uh huh. I share the money with her, and uh, you know that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't you? No, that's not She's it. a succubus. She's a, a succubus. succubus. Stay away from me. Oh dear God. Hey, partner, come back here. Oh my gosh. She just wants to speak to you. Where are you running off? Oh my god. What the hell you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. Ugh. 
<laughs> That's a neat trick. Jigs, stop drinking my coffee. My chai. She's kind of bad. It's kind of a lie, Arthur. Come on. Is he in a tree or something? Where is this guy? Over here, dummy. I knew he was in that tree. I didn't see him. I looked. Why well, you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, so long, God damn it, dummy. Where are you? Oh my gosh, we're still going! Oh my god, a train. What? She's here! Damn it! Ah! Oh! Oh! Bad, bad, bad. Oh no! 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 Oh, 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 no! I can't! Oh, 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 no! 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 Put me down! I ain't back. I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? That's what you, you think. For a ticket? Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. <laughs> Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap... You're a family! Stick size? together! You got Bertram! You got Dummy over there! Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit! You sold me out! You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy! God, the voice acting in this game, the acting in this game is incredible. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. We're family. Mm -hmm. It pains me to say it. Family. Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to mama. <laughs> oh, I did miss you. Mm. What? Now, don't you ever run off on us like what that? What a family. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. Oh my gosh. give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here. We know where that is. Anything about splitting a gate? Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Wow. What I done to deserve you too? Probably one of the in most interesting families we've met so far, and that's saying something because we met. Mary and her, uh, Mary and her brother, and then we've met a lot of gangs, a lot of weird gangs. We've met a lot of interesting people, but this takes the cake, I think, and this is a good place to stop. We accomplished a lot this episode. We changed my outfit finally. I know you guys were really ba banking on that, waiting for that to happen. We explored a lot, as I've already stated. We went through a lot of the map. We kind of revisited some parts on accident because I didn't remember them, but... I'm getting a good grasp on the game. I finally feel familiar, like, with the controls, besides punching and dodging. 
the controls, the environment, the people. We found a new town. We encountered these crazy folks. And I'm really excited to see where the game takes us next. Next, I think I'm actually going to press the the next button and we're going to continue the quest. We're going to finish off that author's quest and then pick back up with the main story. So thank you guys so much for being here, joining me on this journey. Can't wait for the next episode and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.